Hey guys, Dan here with CLE Tech, and in this video, we're gonna go over some of my favorite applications that I'm currently using on my Mac. So this video was sponsored by Setapp, and before any of you guys get upset that this is a sponsored video, I just want you to know that I have been a paid user of Setapp since December of 2017. I found out about it back then and gave it a shot and I have not turned back since. So when Setapp asked if we wanted to work together on a video, I immediately said yes because it's just a no brainer for me. With that said, if you are not familiar with this service, Setapp is a subscription service for Mac applications. Now I was looking for the latest and greatest Mac apps all of the time and this service actually aggregates a lot of great Mac apps that you might not know about and it places them all in one location so looking for your new favorite app is a lot easier than just searching through the Mac App Store. The UI for Setapp is very simplistic and is broken down into various categories like lifestyle, creativity, and one of my personal favorites, productivity. Setapp's recommendation system can also suggest apps that you might like based off of your current app usage. Some of these applications can run you anywhere from $10 to $100 a piece, but with Setapp, you can download all of these apps for only $9.99 a month. The apps are always up to date and you never have to pay for any updates. There are currently over 120 applications available and new apps are being added to the service all the time. And like I mentioned before, I was a paid subscriber to Setapp and now I wanna show you a few apps that I love and use on a daily basis. First up is a really simple app, but it's extremely useful, especially if you work in graphic design or you dabble a little bit in Photoshop, video editing, etc. Now colors are very important and sometimes for a project, I'm looking for a very specific color and this app called SIP can give me the name and hex code for the exact color that's on my screen. So my favorite color is orange and let's say that I want to use a very specific shade of orange. I can click on the SIP icon in my status bar and now whenever you hover your mouse over anything on your screen, you'll see the color information. Go ahead and click on that color and everything is saved into your color palette history. This app has saved me countless times looking for a specific shade of color and it's super useful. Good Task is also an extremely simple application, but incredibly useful. I go through a ton of task management applications in search of trying to find the right one for me. And lately I have been a fan of very simple apps and with Good Tasks integration with Apple's calendar and reminders application, getting stuff done has never been easier. All of your lists are organized neatly on the left side of the application with filters available for high priority items, things that need to get done today, or might be overdue. Using Good Tasks to me just seems like I'm using a native Apple application and will be a very familiar app to use. Speaking of apps that should be native to every Mac, Clean My Mac and Gemini are two of my absolute favorite applications that I rarely have to use because the app is just so good at what it does that all you have to do is click start, sit back and relax. Clean My Mac offers a one-click cleaning solution for your Mac's hard drive and can help search for files that you probably never use and you can absolutely get rid of to get back some of that precious hard drive space. If you click on the Clean My Mac icon in the status bar, you'll see some quick diagnostics like current hard drive space, RAM management, and how full your trash may be. The app itself is broken down into Smart Cleanup, which is where you click it and forget it option, or you can really narrow it down on a specific cleaning type for system junk, photo junk, mail, and more. In terms of utilities, my favorite is the uninstaller portion of Clean My Mac, which completely removes any application that you might want to uninstall and deletes any corresponding files or folders that said app might have left on your computer, which isn't always the case when you just throw an app in the trash and then empty the trash. Gemini is an extremely similar app to Clean My Mac, at least in terms of the look and feel, which makes sense because these apps share the same developers, but this app has its own very specific use case, and that is to help find any duplicate files that you might have on your computer, and will give you the ability to quickly delete them without having to dig around your hard drive yourself. Most common use case for this would be your media, and so Gemini makes it easy to search through your whole computer or specific sections like photos and music folders. Once the search is done, if any duplicates are found, simply select Smart Cleanup and let the app do the work. Now, if you're not already using a clipboard manager or you're looking for a new app to help keep track of all the things that you copy and paste at any given time, give the app Paste a shot. 
It's definitely one of my new favorite clipboard managers, and with the press of a custom keyboard command, you'll notice all of the things that I have copied recently, and I can easily navigate through all of my content in my clipboard manager, and I can even save them in specific sections for future use. For example, if you do a lot of online shopping like I do and hate typing out your address, you can just copy and paste it super easily by saving that text in paste. I highly recommend using a clipboard manager, and this is a great one. Finally, our last app is one that I've discovered recently, but it definitely fits the theme of simple and useful. Workspaces allows you to customize specific tasks that can be ran at any time by clicking the icon in the status bar and then selecting the appropriate workspace. So for example, whenever I want to write a script for a video, I use Evernote and then I like to throw on some music in the background. Everything else kind of becomes a distraction. So for this example, I want to simply select the script writing workspace and I have it set to launch Evernote and Spotify, nothing else. You can set up a workspace to open up a series of files, folders, emails, websites, applications, or even run a terminal command. Just select the workspace and press start and get to work. It's definitely an app that can make your workday a bit more efficient and streamlined. Now these are just some of my favorite applications that you can find in Setapp, along with a ton of other awesome Mac apps that you can use at any time for only $9.99 a month. Honestly, at least give the free trial a shot, there's nothing that you can really lose here. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can sign up for that free trial and give these awesome applications a chance. So that's it for this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.